Cabinet Secretary Jacob Kaimeni says that the ongoing teacher strike is illegal since the teachers' unions did not give dialogue a chance. Kaimeni maintains the government will not increase teachers' salaries as demanded by the unions until proper job evaluation has been done. At the same time, Kaimeni says teachers should go back to classes since the government has already given them a very attractive and irresistible offer. And this is verbatim on allowances. The teachers' union's declaration of the strike is unlawful. That is the position of Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni as he briefed members of the Federation of Kenya Employers and the Kenya Association of Manufacturers on the ongoing teacher strike which has paralyzed learning in public schools for the second week running. Kaimeni says the strike will affect the quality of education in public schools. He observed the government has addressed 38 of the 39 demands made by unions to the employer through negotiations where teachers have been promised to earn attractive allowances. In the sense that we offer the teachers 9.3 billion, you can imagine what that means, in settlement of various allowances. And for the first time in the history of this country, we are giving them an elaborate mortgage and car loan scheme as well as daily subsistence allowance for the groups that have been indicated there. Very attractive car loan. Interest rate 3%. Payable in five years. The lowest paid teacher, a P1, will be entitled to a car loan of Chapa, 800,000 shillings. It is an offer, ladies and gentlemen, which to me, and in my strong considered opinion, which is irresistible, irresistible. Teachers unions last week agreed to pursue their demands jointly, claiming the government was keen to divide them during negotiations for improved terms and conditions of service. The union leadership has said it will not append signatures to a collective bargaining agreement that lacks a salary increase component. But Kaimeni says teacher salary demands are insensitive. Their demands are nothing else but an economic suicide. As a nation, I don't think we are in that game. To give in to them would mean that we are giving that 1% of the national budget to one group. Kaimeni wants teachers to sign performance contracts which will determine future salary negotiations. Salaries can only be reviewed once SRC has completed job evaluation for all, not that one, all public sector employees. No one is exempt, neither the teachers are. In view of the gravity of the situation we find ourselves in as a country, can we facilitate or can we seek mediation between the teachers and their employers in with an honest broker? Teachers unions, KNUT and COPET, and the employer, the Teacher Service Commission, are currently meeting at the industrial court for directions on how to end the stalemate. Patrick Amimo, KTN.